What's up, YouTube? It's Barry Fisherman, and today I'm going to be answering the question, is the Security Plus worth it? So in the last couple months, I've been getting a dozen requests asking about um, where do I start? What do I do? Is this a good idea? Uh, what's your recommendation for getting into IT, specifically GovTech? Um, and I always tell them you need to start studying for your Security Plus first. Um, some of them have their clearance already, some of them don't, but the main thing is that you need to get an IT is the security plus as far as the GovTech route. This is a baseline certification. This will give you basic information on information security. So according to the government, that is the baseline certification that you need to, to get different rights and have access to different inf confidential information right so with that being said the test costs about four or five hundred dollars um, CompTIA does offer a bundle package where it's about six hundred dollars you get a study guide you of course you get the test and you get a free retake if you're somebody who's starting out from scratch, I recommend just spending the $600 just in case. Um, I know I failed the test the for my first time around about uh, like 17 points. So um, I just know that when starting out, there is it's a lot of information. So you're, you're probably going to be on information overload. And recently they've been adding more information. So. The faster you get on it, the better. Now, also be aware that they did, I think they did just change to the 701. So make sure you go on the CompTIA website and look at the, um, the test exam guidelines as far as what's going to be on the test, what you need to know, and what's changed from the previous test. Right? So after... I passed my Security Plus certification. I got a job in two weeks. Um, that was the fastest turnaround I've seen of any um, application I've ever put out. So that was pretty awesome to see getting Security Plus. Okay, I got my secret clearance. I got my clearance from a previous job that I was working. Um, so going in, I already had everything I needed. I had the secret clearance and I had my Security Plus. And I was ready to go. So I got my first help desk. I got my first help desk job, making about twenty four dollars an hour, which is great starting out. And I was working fifty hours a week, so I was essentially making about sixty three, sixty five k uh, a year, which was actually about eight k more than no which was actually about 7K more than what I was making in my previous job. So I actually had a pay increase. Um, but besides that, the Security Plus will give you a baseline. And also if you take the GovTech route like me, in two to three years, you're going to be making six figures. So, and depending on your ambition and which, which route you want to go, you might not have to take any more tests. You can just rock out with the Security Plus for the rest of your career if you want to. Um, everybody's journey is different. Everybody's opportunities are different. I would just say that. So with that being said, I highly recommend that you take the Security Plus if you want to get in IT and also if you want to get into specifically GovTech. Um, as far as anything outside of GovTech, I'm not... The expert on that, I can't give you advice on that. I've never had a tech job outside of GovTech. So if you're someone who think you can't get a clearance, then this might not be the best route for you. Even though I just seen a video and a guy said he had a felony, but it was just one felony, and he was able to get his clearance again, but he had his clearance previously. So... What he said was, is a case by case basis. So don't give up all hope if you have a felony or in some legal trouble. There is a chance that you can bypass it.